Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is actually going to be a check-in on my month-long no-buy that I have been going on. Actually, I started on April 19th. It is currently May 16th when I'm filming this, so it's been pretty much a month. And I'm going to keep this going until June 14th, which is the first day of SAS, so I can buy stuff at SAS if I want to. Um, so it's kind of like almost a two-month-long no-buy. I'm just going to check in and... Um, show you guys how I've been doing basically um, and I do want to apologize if you hear anything in the background it is actually raining outside today there's some thunder going on every now and then I think the lighting is still like totally fine um, but yeah if you hear some tapping on the window that's the rain outside that's actually is like making me feel really some type of way today I feel really nice like a little relaxing rainy day but yeah let's go ahead and get started with the no buy check-in so my goal for this no buy was really just to kind of reduce my spending and um, reduce my collection before SAS because I do want to still be able to purchase some things um, but I also want to have my collection stay in check and that way I can kind of like I usually like to go crazy in the fall and the winter because that's my favorite time of year that's my favorite time to have smelly things like candles and body care and all that stuff so I limited myself to a no buy on body care candles wax um, makeup hair skincare yeah, so pretty much um, I definitely picked up a few things. So I'm going to kind of like run you through. Most of these were actually replacements. I do have a few things that I actually did buy. I caved in and buy, bought and then um, a couple things were free gifts. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into the things that I did buy. So I had two coupons for a free item up to $7.50 and I only had the barcode so I could only use it online and pick up in store. And if you guys don't know this, you can't do a free pickup online um, to go in store. You have to buy at least something and they do have, they did have like single pocket bags that I could buy for $1.95 each. So I basically paid $2.00 for the pocket back and my mini body care item. So the first thing I got was Sunshine Mimosa. So this was free, so I'm not really counting it towards anything. And then to be able to pick this up, I got a strawberry pound cake um, pocket back. So I did spend $1.95 for this order. And then I also had a second coupon. So I got Belize Tropical Cabana Body Cream. And um, this one was free, but I did have to purchase a Pineapple Prosecco um, pocket back for $1.95 to be able to pick this up at the store. So I did get, I did technically purchase two pocket backs and I got these two items for free. I have already been using Sunshine Mimosa. I actually really, really like it in the shower. And then another free item that I got is from my friend. She came and visit, visited me this past weekend and she brought me a strawberry pound cake body lotion so this is free i'm not going to count it towards like my no buy um, because i didn't pay for it it was a gift and i'm actually really excited because i just started using my strawberry pound cake body wash in the shower so i can have my little set going it smells so good so this is something that i did pick up this month while i was on my no buy and the last thing that i actually did purchase is a wet and wild uh, felt tip eyeliner in dark brown i had really been wanting a brown eyeliner pen for a while now because I have a brown I'll show you I have a brown pencil eyeliner but it is a very light brown it's not as dark as I want um, and I want to be able to do winged eyeliner but with brown because it looks a lot less dramatic so I had been thinking about picking up one for a while so I finally just bit the bullet it was literally like three dollars or maybe it was five dollars but very cheap I already used it once yesterday and I really like it so I'm not like too mad that I picked this up I've been doing really good with makeup so far using up some things and I actually have an eyeliner that I'm pretty close to finishing so I'm not too mad that I picked this one up so these are the only three things that I did purchase with my own money basically two for six seven dollars worth of purchases in the last month and the rest of the stuff is replacements so i did go through a living proof scalp care dry scalp treatment it was in the uh the old packaging which is like a light purple and so i just purchased this new one i do really like this i need something 
really any type of like scalp itch product for my scalp because I do have like eczema on my scalp so I just repurchased this because I know that it was working for me so I did repurchase this I also ran out of my herbal essence totally twisted curl boosting mousse this is my favorite mousse ever I go through about one of these every two months and I picked up a two pack to replace the one that I finished so technically I had to buy two um, but it's a better deal if you pick up the two pack versus the just one by itself so i did buy two of these um, but this is just a replacement for the one that i finished i also finished off my ColourPop brow boss brow gel so i bought an essence lash and brow uh, clear gel i actually kind of hate this i used to use this like a few years ago and i loved it but i guess since then i've had better stuff so i'm like kind of mad that i picked this up but i know i'll use it and i'll go through it so like it's fine but this was a replacement that i purchased from ulta i believe and then i also did go through a concealer for my face and so i picked up a new concealer in uh this is the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 10 fair um this is just a replacement for the concealer that i finished up and then I am about to finish my sunscreen, which is the Crave Beauty, the Beach Shield sunscreen. So I picked up the Super Goop 50 SPF Everyday Lotion for the face. I do not want to go a single day without sunscreen on my face. So I purchased this in anticipation of finishing off that um, sunscreen. So technically it's not finished yet, but I really didn't want to go without sunscreen for like even a single day. So I went ahead and purchased this ahead of time, but it is a replacement. And then something interesting that you'll probably have noticed by the title of this video, I did cave and I went to Bath and Body Works. Um, I went to the outlet in my mall because my friend wanted to go. Well, okay, I convinced her to go and then she said, well, let's go to your outlet because I've never been to an outlet before. And I was like, awesome, let's do it. So I did bring two candles to exchange. I brought my pomegranate lemonade, which the first time I burned it smelled like kerosene. It literally smelled like gasoline. Um, so I returned that and my eucalyptus rain candle which i assumed was the same scent as eucalyptus mint but it is not the same scent it's a lot more powdery than the eucalyptus mint um so i exchanged that one as well but i hadn't burned that burnt that one yet so that one um i didn't like feel bad about but the other ones smell like kerosene so i shouldn't feel bad about that one either but um yeah the associate went ahead and um rang it up i thought that you could do an even exchange so I could do another three wick candle and another single wick candle but they told me that my candle had rang up since it was last year's version um, rang up for ten dollars and then I had like three dollars from I think it was actually six dollars I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you what I got so the first thing I got is a three wick candle and this was um, since it was an outlet they had a ten dollar rack of candles and so this one pretty much replaced my pomegranate lim lemonade exactly and that is laundry day um, this is a new one that I hadn't really actually seen this packaging for laundry day it might be from last year I really don't know um, but it is a white barn version the scent notes are fresh air crisp eucalyptus and soft lavender it smells like laundry it's just white wax it smells like gain pretty much so i think this is going to be a good one for the bathroom which is really what i was going to get um the eucalyptus mint for but this will do just fine in the bathroom as well and then kind of like maybe on days where we're cleaning the house or something but i feel like this is a nice fresh scent that's not too overpowering i feel like it's going to be a powerhouse though um but very happy to have found this for ten dollars they had like a whole rack of ten dollar candles at that um at that store and then um they told me i had six dollars to spend um on other stuff like six dollars worth of merchandise that i could get and they actually had some three dollar soap tables they also had two dollar soap tables but those were um like christmas scents so i chose from the three dollar soap table i chose two the first one is strawberry pound cake and i want to say this packaging is either from last sas or from beginning of spring like january i can't remember um, but I kind of match this packaging. It's so cute. Um, the notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. If you haven't smelled strawberry pound cake before, you definitely need to. It's so good. So I picked this one up just because I knew that I would love it. And then I picked up one more summery scent, which is pineapple mango. This is fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberry. So cute, really precious, and only $3. So I technically got it for free. I think I actually did end up owing like 46 cents. Let me check. I owed 45 cents at the end of the day. So I did spend 45 cents. So total this month, I spent 7.45 
which is less than eight dollars on stuff so i think that's fine like i'm kind of i'm kind of okay with that um i did actually need more soaps because i only have like two christmas ones as backups that i'm not using currently and there's two that are about to be empties so i have these to hold us over for the next month until sas comes around and i can buy some more soaps um but i just thought they're super cute good for summer and yeah so that's like a little haul for you guys a little exchange haul so overall i did really good on skincare i didn't use up a single skincare item but i didn't purchase a single skincare item so that's really good um hair care i really only repurchased these two items so that was really good for makeup i repurchased these two items and new purchase of the eyeliner for candles i didn't buy a single one i also did not buy a single wax melt so that's really good i just exchanged an old candle that i had for this one um actually i reduced my single wick candle collection by one since i returned that eucalyptus rain and didn't get a new single wick um i increased my hand soap collection by two and um for free though for free and i did increase my body care collection i only purchased these two pocket backs um, but i did increase it by these three so i did actually finish up some body care as well but that is for the next video that's going to come out on thursday and that is going to be a inventory update i'm just going to show you guys share with you guys my inventory numbers and what i've kind of gone through and um, what my inventory is looking like since i've gone through pretty much a month of a no buy um so i think this is overall kind of kind of successful i'm still kind of thinking that i'm not going to be able to buy a lot at sas um as far as full-size body care because i have a lot of body care that i need to get through i might just limit myself to mini body care we'll just have to see um but yeah that's everything for like my update on the no buy i'm still going to i have a hair on my face y'all i feel it there it is but yeah, that is everything for my no buy. I am going to keep going on the no buy until June 14th when SAS starts. And before that, I will kind of update you guys. Maybe I'll put out a video on like the 13th or something um, or a few days before about how my no buy went since it's about to end on that day. And um, yeah, so we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!